Good morning, students. We will continue with the reactions of aryl halides. Now we will study the reactions of aryl halides with metals. Aryl halides are haloarenes like chlorobenzene, bromobenzene. They react with several metals like copper, sodium, magnesium. So we will first see the reaction of aryl halides with metallic sodium. The first reaction is Fittig reaction. This is a name reaction. So what happens in Fittig reaction? The aryl halide, let us take Chlorobenzene is heated with metallic sodium. So, how many chlorobenzene I have taken here? I have taken two moles of this chlorobenzene and two sodium. So, NaCl is given out and the reaction takes place in dry ether. So what will be the product? See this benzene ring will get connected to this ring and we will get this compound. This is known as diphenyl plus 2 NaCl and what is the name of this reaction? Fittig reaction. So now what is this Fittig reaction? In Fittig reaction, chlorobenzene or any aryl halides are heated with sodium in the presence of dry ether and the product is diphenyl or biphenyl. Now let us discuss the second reaction of aryl halides with sodium. When an aryl halide is treated with an alkyl halide in the presence of sodium and dry ether, then the reaction is known as Wurz Fittig reaction. So let us take one aryl halide. Plus sodium plus one alkyl halide, methyl chloride. So NaCl is taken out. And the reaction will take place in dry ether. So this carbon will get connected to this carbon and we will get toluene plus 2 NaCl. We have studied about Wurz reaction. What is that? In Wurz reaction, two moles of Alkyl halides react with sodium in the presence of dry ether to give you an alkene. And what about Fittig reaction? In Fittig reaction, two moles of aryl halides react with each other in the presence of sodium and dry ether to give you a diphenyl. Or we can say that diaryl if it is aryl halide. In case of Wurz Fittig, what is happening? Aryl halide is combining with alkyl halide in the presence of sodium and dry ether.
So this is the method of converting halobenzene to toluene or in this case we have seen that we have converted chlorobenzene to toluene. Now our second reaction is reaction of aryl halides with magnesium. So let us check bromobenzene first. Bromobenzene when treated with magnesium metal in the presence of dry ether we will get phenyl magnesium bromide. So here we have carbon metal bond organometallic compound and organometallic compound involving magnesium. So this is nothing but Grignard reagent. Phenyl magnesium bromide. Now this chlorobenzene prefer to react with magnesium in tetrahydrofuran medium rather than in dry ether. So here we will get phenyl magnesium chloride. This is also a Grignard reagent. Now let us see the reaction of aryl halides with copper. Now let us see the reaction of iodobenzene with copper. Only iodobenzene among other aryl halides will react with copper, not bromobenzene or chlorobenzene. So iodobenzene when heated with copper powder in a sealed tube will give us this diphenyl. And this reaction between iodobenzene and copper leading to the formation of diphenyl is known as Ullmann reaction. So, iodobenzene, copper, copper, we can see this given out. So, here it will be CuI2CuI or you can write Cu2I2. Our organic product will be this diphenyl. Now our next reaction is a reaction between aryl halide and lithium. Now let us see the reaction of aryl halides with lithium metal. Bromobenzene when treated with lithium will give us phenyl lithium plus LIBR. So today we have discussed the reactions of aryl halides with metals. So our first reaction was Fittig reaction. Our second reaction is Wurz Fittig reaction. Then we have discussed the formation of Grignard reagent that is phenyl magnesium halide from chlorobenzene or from aryl halide. And 
we have also prepared this diphenyl from specially iodobenzene by heating it with copper in a silk tube and the reaction is known as Wollman reaction and our last reaction with metal is this one that is bromobenzene or any aryl halide with lithium giving us phenyl lithium. So we have discussed the reactions of aryl halides with metals. Now our next reaction is reduction of aryl halides. So reduction of aryl halides. Now suppose if I take this chlorobenzene. So chlorobenzene when you will reduce it with nickel aluminium alloy in the presence of alkali we will get benzene plus HCl. So chlorobenzene is reduced in the presence of nickel aluminium alloy and alkali and chlorobenzene on reduction will give you benzene plus HCl. So aryl halides on reduction will give you the aromatic hydrocarbon. This reduction can also be carried out with the help of lithium aluminium hydride. So today we have discussed the reactions of aryl halides with metals and the reduction of aryl halides. So this much for today. In our next class we will discuss the electrophilic substitution reactions of aryl halides. Thank you.